for many generations, Wisconsin was a laboratory for democracy. It pioneered the first unemployment insurance program was there. Um, Social Security Act was drafted by Wisconsinites loyal to an, an idea called the uh, Wisconsin idea, an ethos really, that placed a moral obligation on the University of Wisconsin to serve the citizens of the state. The first workers' compensation bill was passed there, and these laws were replicated across the country, and a lot of the New Deal was actually uh, authored by Wisconsinites. Um, more recently, the state has become a conservative laboratory, and a lot of my book kind of details this shift. Um, the attack on the labor movement was replicated in many other states to varying degrees, most recently in Iowa, um, where they passed a draconian version of what's called Act 10, which basically uh, severely restricts collective bargaining rights for public employees. And this has contributed to atomizing um, the state's electorate. You know, unions function in many ways. Obviously, there's wages and benefits, but there's other things that they do. They form a kind of way for workers to get together and share ideas about policy. It's, it's really the, one of the only infrastructures on, on the progressive side, and that is why they're very, they've been targeted so fiercely. And this is a movement that goes back really to the New Deal. There was a lot of people that never accepted the New Deal, many of them in Wisconsin, and some of them started the John Birch Society, <laughs> which is also in Wisconsin. Um, but uh, more recently, this movement against public employees was really spearheaded by Ronald Reagan when he broke the uh, PATCO, the uh, Air Traffic Controllers Union. And